Oh my god, what the fuck? I wish I had like a really long broom, like, you know, a four meter long one, just bang the... <laughs> pop, pop, pop. <laughs> hey, get me out of there! When I got to review the Fairphone Fairbuds, I had high hopes. I mean, come on, earbuds that theoretically last forever with easy to replace batteries and don't require tools? It's been 84 years. What more can you ask for? But the more I used them and checked my impressions in our testing lab, I realized they weren't ready for prime time. If you've never checked out the Fairphone Fairbuds, here's a quick overview. The earbuds are pretty boring from a spec standpoint as they don't really do much to grab anyone's attention with advanced features or the like. The earbuds connect over Bluetooth 5.3 via SBC or AAC, and the earbuds support connection to multiple devices. Controls are a pretty standard set of taps and swipes on a capacitive touch surface on the back of each earbud, and the fit is solid. A decent battery life of six hours and 43 minutes is respectable for the price point, and pretty good ANC is the cherry on top. The app enables some EQ presets and tinkering options for your sound, but in general, these earbuds aren't going to compete with the top of the market when it comes to bells and whistles. But that's really not the selling point here. The selling point of the Fairbuds is the ability to repair them almost indefinitely. Unlike most wireless earbuds, which have an operating life of two to three years, these can theoretically last you forever, which makes that 149 euro price tag a lot easier to justify. These earbuds are the first ever to snag iFixit's 10 out of 10 repairability rating, as just about everything in these earbuds can be replaced. From the charging case to the earbuds themselves, it's relatively easy for a consumer to perform their own maintenance and replace the batteries as needed. You don't even need any special tools for this either. Just yank off the rubber collar and you can open the battery drawer. Inside are some really easy to find LIR 1054 hearing aid batteries that you can probably find at any drugstore for under 10 bucks. You can pop in the replacements yourself and get back to listening. It's that easy. No dropping 80 bucks on someone to do it for you or getting the short end of the stick on a trade-in. If your charging case is unable to hold onto power, removing one screw, one screw, reveals the battery, which can just get yeeted out of the case and a new one dropped in. Fairphone proved earbud manufacturers could have done this years ago and simply didn't want to. Now, not to make light of the engineering challenges here or anything, but I refuse to believe larger companies couldn't figure out a battery drawer. There wasn't a reason to overpay people at the Genius Bar to replace batteries when that issue could have been designed away. But that might change for the entire market with newer regulations in the EU. And thank God for that. So, why am I not telling you to rush out and buy these for yourself? Well, for one, they're currently only available in the EU, and two, the sound quality sucks. Looking at the lab measurements, you can see why pretty quickly. The missing highs lead people to crank the volume, which just makes the issues even worse. It's infuriating because the hardware is solid, and the main issue is the tamper of the earbuds. Fix the drop off in the highs and you have a halfway respectable sound. But this alone tanks the experience. When I put these in my ears, I hated listening to it immediately, and the multi-dimensional audio quality scores agree. If you were to hand these over to about 200 people, give or take, they would rate these as merely okay, not good, and the issue, as the scores highlight, isn't distortion or immersiveness, it's the frequency response. It's unclear whether this will be fixed in a future firmware update or if it's the actual hardware that needs to be updated in a following model, but these are not the earbuds to get if you're hoping for a high-end experience. If you mainly listen to podcasts or really don't care about the sound quality, it'll be just fine. But for most people, especially audiophiles, you probably aren't going to enjoy how these sound. All right, so say Fairphone fixes this somehow with a firmware update or a Fairbuds 2. How are these earbuds gonna disrupt the earbud industry if they can't compete with the bigger companies out there? You guys all think you're so much better than me. Oh, Meg, that is the least fancy thing I have ever heard. The answer lies in the looming deadlines in the EU. Over the past few years, the EU adopted a handful of new regulations meant to protect consumers from user hostile design. You know, being unable to use the same connectors, change the batteries, that kind of thing. You might be familiar with this in a vague sense because Apple was forced to use the USB-C connector as a result of these standardization rules. What you might have missed, however, is that the EU is also forcing some changes to how manufacturers of small portable electronic devices deal with little batteries in portable devices. 
That's right, all of them, including earbuds. From 2027 on, all portable electronics sold in the EU will have either batteries that maintain 80% of their original charge capacity after a thousand charge cycles and be able to withstand a dunk in one meter of water for 30 minutes, also known as IPX7, or they can have user removable batteries to be accomplished without requiring the use of specialized tools unless they are provided free of charge or proprietary tools, thermal energy, or solvents to disassemble it. Man, that sounds real familiar. So either your earbuds will have insane waterproofing and withstand a long life, or their batteries will be able to be replaced. You know, like the Fairbuds. And a design that makes this fairly simple, you might see a lot of the more inexpensive earbuds change their designs to accommodate the strategies pioneered by Fairphone. Earbud manufacturers should be taking a good hard look at the semi-modular design of these earbuds and think about how they want to look at the future. Because the AirPods design is quite old now and other earbuds out there have caught up to them. If you have to pick between options at the electronics store between two sets of earbuds that sound virtually identical, but one of them can easily be maintained indefinitely for cheap and the other craps out on you in a couple years, which would you buy? The Fairbuds' main failure was the sound quality, but that is a completely solvable problem. Change nothing but that, and you've got a winner on your hands. Instead of having to play catch up with regulations, Fairphone already has a winning strategy they can iterate on to hang with the bigger players. Anyone else making earbuds would be very wise to take a peek at their notes, lest they scramble to figure out just how in the hell they're going to meet new battery requirements. But now that these designs are out there, the next couple of years should be a wild ride, which is a shame because Fairbuds almost got it right on the first try. And if you're interested in learning about future-proofing products, why don't you check out this review about the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 4?